Hey, 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 y'all. Welcome to another Chronicle, Blogging with April Chronicles. I'm Blogging with April. What I will be discussing today is marrying for money. You know, marrying for money. Before I begin, I want you to drop down should you marry solely for money? Just like just you know, just because somebody got money, um, because somebody got a little status, they 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 got a good portfolio, they got good credit, whatever. Should you just marry solely for that, for their purposes only? It has nothing to do with 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 um that you like the person, that you love something about that person, only their money. Should you marry for that? What you think about that? What you think? Y'all go ahead and let me know what you think about that. Before I give my opinion, you know, um, so this is just something, you know, I just wanted to just chat about. Should you solely marry for money? You know, um, my, my humble opinion with that would be no. I don't think a person should solely just alone, just marry somebody because they have money. You know, I, I don't, I don't think, I don't believe in that. I don't agree with that. I, I feel that, you know, you should, a person should, 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 should bring something to the table. A person should have something going on for themselves. I, I agree with that. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't say marry somebody. They can, they can provide, you know, they can um, offer support if it comes down to finances. It, it, it takes two sometimes, you know, it, it, sometimes it, it takes everybody collective help if you're in a marriage. It takes, you know what I'm saying, it, it takes two because the way, you know, things are different now. A lot of, uh, of us, we're not living in a traditional sense to where the woman can stay home with the kids and the man make the money. You know, like like prices and, and the things that's going on, the cost of living is not going to allow you just to only do that. You know, so I mean, we, a lot of a lot of women are doing non-traditional things. That's that's tradition. That what you know people did back in the day. Day, you know what I'm saying. But now it takes everybody. Everybody got got to earn something just to keep things going. Just to, just to um be able to um pay your bills and be able to do things you you need to do as a family. You know, so yeah, so yeah, it it takes two or um, more these days. Time it takes multiple streams of income. So yeah, I, I'm not saying that a person should not have you know any like they should not have no money you know what i'm saying have something but i'm saying solely solely for money you know um should if, if okay so women men should you um train up your daughter just to go after a man because they got money you know what i'm saying should you should you do that you know and i'm saying i don't think that's a good practice just doing that because a lot of times, you know, you can, if you're not teaching that the right way, you, I feel like you have a daughter, you know, if you're raising a granddaughter or whatever, teach her to be self-sufficient. Teach her to go out there, you know, um, work, get in that career, um, start that business. I mean, you know, that, that's what we, we should be teaching our, our girls, you know what I'm saying? To be self-sufficient, to be independent, to have confidence. To be able to take care of herself in a household, you know, to be able to do that until she, you know, she gets married. A lot, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say rush into a marriage just just for, you know, just to, just to get money. You know what I'm saying? You want to be able to equip your, your girls, you know, on, on how to be able to get her own money, to balance the financial books, to, to, um, to, to um, build her credit and things like that. That's, that's important. You, you know what I'm saying? You never know, you know, we all should be doing that. But I, I wouldn't say that, you, okay, you tell somebody, you tell your girl just to get some, your daughter to get somebody with money, but you're not teaching them things about money. You're not teaching them how to how to budget. You're not teaching them how to, to better themselves, how to get a career, what they need to do, what what what, what does it entail to have good credit, if, if you're, how to bring up a credit score. How to um, make wise decisions when it comes down to purchases and things like that. You need to be doing your part in that before you tell her to go out there and get somebody with money. There's a lot of times, if, if say if you groom them and not educate them just to get somebody with money, say if that happens, say they do land on a somebody a professional that make a lot of money or a somebody that got a, a, a MBA contract or something like that and it was the, the, you know to get together 
now you know what i'm saying they are they don't they don't have any form of education they don't know anything about money they don't know how to spend the money how long that relationship is going to last because because now people are looking forward to somebody that can help they can bring things to the table they just can't just be spending up all the money you know what i'm saying and and not give back or the guy could be a serial cheater he could be cheating on on, on the poor girl or he can be having her doing things um in comprom uncompromising compromising um situations because he knows that she she wants the money so see how you set yourself up for things like that if you was to you you tell somebody to marry solely for money a lot of time that stuff comes with a price tag like having money and and prestige and, and power and title sometimes that comes with a price tag if if, if, if it's not used in the right way if, you, if you're not teaching your girls like how to you know deal with somebody like that in, in that um in that caliber you know what i'm saying so that's why i always say empower yourself it, 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 empower yourself so whenever you were to meet somebody you know a millionaire or, or this business owner or this person got a, a sports contract or whatever you can be on their level. You can level up with them. You know what I'm saying? Not, you know, it, it's, it's a lot comes into it. I, I think in a sense, it's just, this is the way I think. If you're just telling your daughter, you're not educating them just to marry for money, it's basically you pimping them out. You just, okay, I'm just, you just marrying for money solely. It got to be a lot come that you got, people got to know, people, you got to, you want to marry somebody that somebody who's going to respect you, who genuinely love you, who's going to help you, not going to walk away from you and leave you when times are hard when when things get rough when you in your your down moments you need somebody that's going that's a rider somebody that's that's going to be there in a good bad thick and thin not somebody you know that's, that's always going to be around you when you're up you need you know you need you need to be with someone when it's genuine you know what i'm saying so that's that's the thing too like um it needs to be a balance yes the, the person needs to be able to contribute be the provide the man needs to be the provider um to contribute that can you know that can help out with finances and things like that but that should not just be just only his job you know what i'm saying he needs to be a partner a confidant he needs to understand you know when how how to help you when you're going through some things you know not just just, just spending money you know it, it got to be more than that so that was just my little you know quick thing my quick talk i just want to talk about you know i was thinking about should somebody marry solely just for money money so y'all you know tell me your thoughts let me know what you think you know what i'm saying leave a comment guys for more lifestyle tips check out aprilblog.online there i have um various um blog topics i have one-on-one -on -one interviews there so y'all check that out if you want to be featured on my um blogging platform for people from all over the world to see your you know say your personal story or if you have a business or a success you want to highlight you have a company you want to promote you got i can you can i can um, put that on my platform on my blog april blog online platform so y'all go check that out guys so y'all have a great amazing rest of your day bye bye